Hi, and welcome to Mechanical Keyboards Live. I'm your host, Keely Pete. What's going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Wearing the, uh, oh, starting this end. Wearing the uh, Ski with Pete hat today. Um, it's Sunday. I'm actually here for a very specific reason. This sounds really loud. Here, I'm just going to turn it down. Just turn it down a smidge. Um, maybe I didn't turn it down much. Steph's actually handing me masking tape. We're off to a funny start. Just give me some, just give me one quick second here. Stephanie discovered that the fan has holes in it about this long. And that means that mosquitoes are getting in and Steph doesn't like mosquitoes. Right. Okay, and then one more little piece for over in this corner. Just be one second. Welcome to my audience from Hong Kong. Just one second. Okay, there we go. Better, better, better. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Zen. Welcome, everybody. So today, uh, I'm getting on the stream to really do one thing, and that is to test the new Sweet 16 acrylic. Uh, it's a case... Uh, it was made uh, for me by Joshua. He uh, built one of these and said it was awesome and that I should try it. So uh, I got one of them cut. Today is the prototype build for that. Uh, and in order to do that, uh, I've already started. Uh, I was starting during the countdown. Um, but I heard that A. Elias may have just bought one of these. And so I wanted to show how you do it. Look, here's a diode. And all you do with the diode is you just bend it. And it'll just bend naturally in its own way. You see, it just happened to bend at exactly the right sort of angles there. So all I'm going to do now is take this. You see the black line here at this end? See that? Got a black line. Oh, you can't see it unless my finger's behind it. There's the black line. So I'm just going to line up that black line with the uh, thick line on the bottom of the Sweet 16 here. And just like this, I'm just going to slot that puppy right in there. Seat it nice down tightly and bend it into place. That's it, I've already put uh, the others uh, where they ought to go, so uh, I'm going to just start soldering this thing right away. But you know what, before I do that, I'm actually gonna lock in the action cam uh, to be at the right depth here. So I'm just gonna go configure video, focus, take it off autofocus. There we go. That now should hold that focus. Which looks pretty darn sweet to me, actually. Uh, that should hold that focus so we can uh, see the soldering as it happens. Because I'm not going to use the solder cam today. Uh, I'm actually going to use the Tassie Home, which I used in a previous video, and I thought it was I thought it was actually pretty cool. So I'm just going to put my. I thought it was pretty cool. If you guys didn't see that uh, last video from last week, the Tassie Home Soul Rep 2000, surprisingly good for uh, for 20 bucks. Atari Zero's in the house. What's going on? I haven't done my shoutouts yet. Mister is here. Alvin Gaming from Hong Kong is in the house. A. Elias is here. He just bought one of these kits last week. Shad Vandenhall is here. And, of course, now Atari Zero's up in the house. What's going on? So I'm just letting my soldering iron uh, warm up, and then I'm going to uh, start soldering down these diodes. Again, quick build. The uh, hope for this build is that I can test out this uh, new acrylic housing just as soon as possible. This light is still on, which tells me that it is not yet warmed up. Ah, there we go. Uh, Stephanie, I forgot to do the water. Would you mind doing the water for me? What did you say? Up and down? You guys see the soldering happening okay here? I'm just going to turn that fan back on to high. Uh, Mr. says, hi Pete, how do you count your switches to ship them? We actually use a, uh, we use a scale. Uh, each switch is uh, calibrated before we... Oh, thank you, darling. 
each switch is calibrated so we don't just uh, like put in a bunch of random switches uh, and then we use a scale um, and the scale helps us count uh, quickly and efficiently and all those other good good things that we need to be in order to be a productive community member you know um, why do you ask Cool. Look at me, just how quickly I can solder here when I don't have solder cam on. Again, the aim of today is to test out the case, not to do a great job of uh, demoing this. Uh, a. Elias, if you're watching, which I know you are, and you're thinking, you know, you could really use a tutorial on how to build one of these things, there's uh, two great places to get one. One is actually on the 1UP Keyboards uh, YouTube channel, which you should go check out. Uh, and the other is to check out the demo build that we did last week uh, with... Jimmy C and the street were up in the house last week. Oh, that is one squishy wet pad. It's actually it's actually floating, which is a first. It's okay, don't uh, don't worry about it, Fat. Just never seen that before. I tell you, I can move a whole lot faster without solder cam. I know you guys love solder cam, and I will get it back going soon, but boy, I can just rip through this real quick. Uh, okay. I think. Did I miss any of them? Can you guys see any that I've missed here? as you like just double checking all my work here bup, 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 bup. yeah got them all at least it seems I got them all uh, let's start cutting these and again eye protection is important uh, please don't neglect that I'm just gonna pull this bin a bit closer to me again speed and efficiency is what today is all about I've never built with this case before, so I'm not exactly sure what to expect. Uh, Baxter Curry is in the house. What's going on, Baxter Curry? Welcome to the stream. Uh, if any of you guys are new, if it's your first stream, please make sure to say hello. Uh, there's a great community uh, of keyboard enthusiasts uh, here and online. Uh, which is, brings me to my first shout out. Uh, don't forget after the stream to go to the Discord chat. Uh, great chat always happens in the Discord chat for the 1UP Keyboards Discord. So uh, go hang out in there if you have any questions. That silk screen is fire. Silk screen. Oh, on here, yeah, you, you're enjoying that? Um, love that logo. Yeah, man, that's awesome. Thanks, Wolves on Wall Street. Are you in New York, Wolves on Wall Street?
Again, uh, I've got eye protection on. Don't forget to wear uh, eye protection whenever soldering or doing any clipping of any sorts. Nobody wants to have building a keyboard turn into a visit at the hospital. There we go. Nice and clean. Check that out. Don't forget today's presentation is in full 4K. Full 4K thing. Definitely happening here. All right. Again, just ripping right along. Uh, next thing I want to do is uh, put the, the rails in. So these are the rails for the Sweet 16. Uh, sorry. They're, these are the rails for the Pro Micro. Uh, there's the Pro Micro there. Uh, and I'm just going to grab the grab the rails real quick. Elias has discovered, oh, Wolves on Wall Street is not in New York. Uh, A. Elias has just discovered the value of the mods on this channel. Um, yeah, man, they know tons. And that first question you got there about reds needing more weight behind them, that's a black. Uh, there's other great examples of switches uh, in the community that um, offer very precise uh, weights. Um, an example of that is the uh, Telios. Um, Telios is a uh, blacks alternative with a defined weight of 67 grams, if I'm not mistaken. 67 grams. What's that, darling? Telios, yeah. We're out of Telios. But how? But Steph, but how? Okay. I've turned, I've pivoted on my chair here. Oh, I know what I was supposed to grab, which is the... This a lump of blue tack. Uh, the lump of blue tack uh, helps. So what I'm going to do here, watch, you'll see. Uh, this is easiest when you um, push these down. Sorry, I'm just getting my blue tack ready. Uh, when you push these down into a... Uh, into a breadboard like this, and you use the blue tack to stabilize, stabilize the edge there. So you see, it doesn't, it doesn't wiggle too much. Uh, wiggled quite a bit then, but if I get that nice and tight, uh, it won't wiggle at all. Uh, so I can just turn my soldering iron back on, and all I'm going to do is uh, just put a tiny little bit of solder on each of these. Now I was doing this with uh, Jimmy C uh, last Friday, and he was having a, a heck of a time. Uh, getting the small amounts of solder in there. You do really want to be as precise as you can, but as long as I got solder on them, um, Kale Box Blacks are even smoother than Gateron and much less wobble. We actually have those coming into stock. When are they coming into stock, Steph? Steph is going to load the page right now. No, she's not. She's shaking her head. They're in stock. They're in the house right now. And Steph's going to build a page without pictures right now. Okay, she's not going to do it that quickly, but... <coughs> Dane Carter's in the house, too. What's going on, Dane? Great to see you. Feels, feels like it's been a while. May it just be me, though. I, I haven't streamed much in a, in a while. That did not put any solder <laughs> where I wanted it to go. I put a little bit of solder where I wanted it to go.
on you. There you go. No, did I get any on there? I don't know if I did. I'm gonna switch solders actually. See if this one's any more effective. Steffi, I'm really sorry, but the um, the moat that you've given me here, uh, it's not working out. Could you grab me a paper towel? So poor, and I can't get the solder iron in there. Give me just one second, guys. I gotta drain some of the uh, water from here. Okay, thanks, Steph. I'll just chuck it in here. Much more effective. We got the right tools. That one's ineffective. Okay, let me just look at my my work. So you can see here they all do have solder on them. You can see that. I hope you can see that. None are soldered less. This one's a little bit gross. I'm going to fix that one. If it looks too much like a snowball, it's not good. So I just fixed one that was looking a little snowball. And that one on the end might be a little snowball-y too. Cool. There we go. Uh, all right, now I'm just gonna recover my, retin my solder iron. One of the complaints that I have, the only complaint that I have about the uh, Tassie Home Soul Rep 2000 that I reviewed in my last uh, live stream, the only complaint that I have about it, it doesn't have an on-off switch.
here are the broken links in your YouTube channel. Thanks, man. Um, uh, how am I going to remember that? How am I going to remember that? I'll copy it to a... Uh, Um, sorry, just pacing this. Thank you very much for, for pointing those out. Uh, I will work on that. Thank yo, YOLO slag, YOLO swag, lol, GG. Um, and don't forget to come back uh, on the next live stream because I'm going to um, I'm going to be doing a giant giveaway. It's uh, we're back to giveaway season. Uh, I'm going to do the thirty thousand subscriber giveaway. So don't forget. Don't forget and do come back. Uh, all right, sweet. Next up. Uh, it's time to install the legs, and I'm going to put it in the housing, and we're going to see how we go. Yeah, great. Thank you, guys. And also gives the opportunity for the second mention of the Discord on today's uh, live stream. Uh, the Discord is a great place to hang out, uh, meet like-minded people, and... Um, there's a link in the uh, video description section below, which I gotta say, guys, you know, Amazon, uh, Amazon, YouTube is getting better and better at hiding that damn thing. Um, so please do persevere. Go find that. Oh, Steph, do you know what this case actually needs? Is uh, four extra screws. Uh, wolves on Wall Street. Pandas. I know. The pandas thing, it's like, it looks like we're going to have to re, uh, redesign and retool the machines. So it's going to be a painful process, uh, and it's not going to happen anytime soon. So uh, My only advice is continue to hold your breath. Um, some people apparently were paying $7 um, per panda, uh, which is ridiculous. Um, I hope to have more news on that soon. Okay. Off to the side, which you can't see, is my stack. Uh, and here on the stack... And my two pieces of paper. Thank you, Steffi. Perfect. This is proving incredibly difficult to do. Uh, I'm just peeling off the, uh, in case you couldn't tell. Just peeling off the paper on this. On this case. Mm. 
That's only one side that I've done. Switch over to action cam. Hopefully this side won't be quite so painful. We got there. Okay, so this is gonna go this way. And uh, what I wanted to do was check two things. I wanted to check if these uh, B-Sun Browns are gonna fit on here. Uh, the reason I wanna use the B-Sun Browns is because they've got uh, auto-removing, uh, they have little legs, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, they do. They that just snapped right in, right in place here. Look at that, perfect. So now, because they've got these little self-removing legs, they're super easy. I can just pop them all into place and then drop the board on, which is what I really wanted to do. Oops, knocked one out. Knocked one back out is what I meant to say. Hopefully, there's no British people in the audience. I did not knock one out, just for sake of clarity. Cool. I hope you guys are having a great night. Hey, can I ask everybody, where are you coming in from tonight? Can you do a quick uh, quick shout out from the different locales around the world just so I can see what sort of audience we get on a Sunday night like this? These are popping out oh, super easy. Super ease ball. So just pushing them back in the best I can. Oh. Uh, if you're new to the stream and uh, you're just here and you haven't already pressed like or subscribe, if you would do that uh, before or after you shout out from where you're from, that would be awesome. There's a long delay on the stream, so I haven't seen anybody post where they're coming in from yet. I know if Atari's still here, we got somebody in the Northeast, Northwest, Kentucky, Wolves on Wall Street, New Hampshire, Netherlands, San Francisco, Straya. Welcome, Straya. Welcome, Kirk. Hope you're having a lovely time. That is my impression of an Australian accent. Now that a lot of people are offended. San Francisco, M.O. What's, uh, is that Missouri? It's only a small proportion of the room is shouted out so far. Hopefully there'll be some more. So if you're coming in from Straya, it's already Monday for you, for sure.
Look at that. Got them all in place. Now I'm going to gently put them down from the top. But once I've kind of lined it up, I'm actually going to flip it over to push it the rest of the way in. We got a runner. Shocking impression. Come on. Are you saying that I'm completely culturally insensitive? Oh, and then look at what I did. I pulled it straight back up. Um, I used to live in... Actually, I didn't so much live. My parents lived in Brisbane. Uh, I visited a couple times. Uh, but because my parents were there, I, I sometimes claim that I lived there, even though I didn't, didn't really. Didn't really. Um, and then I lived in Auckland. Um... Uh, when I lived in Auckland, of course, we spent quite a bit of time in Straya. Um, mostly in Sydney, though. Uh, Mister says, Yo, Pete, what switch is those? Today I'm doing Beast on Browns because they have the removable, uh, they got the removable pins. So I'm doing Beast on Browns. Plus, they're a little bit tactile, so um, they'll be good for a macro pad. Plus, I can pull them out and make any adjustments I want. Uh, and I'm just heating up the soldering iron, and then I'm going to get in there and start soldering these switches in place. Uh, and I'm going to do it from this side like this. Laredo, Texas says Jose Borrega. Borrega. Try him. Again, I'm doing this with the uh, Tassi Home Soul Rep 2000. So there's no solder cam, but hopefully you guys are getting a pretty good view here. I'll pull this even closer in a second. Chucking something on the floor. I think it was just the stickers. didn't mean to do that switch. I meant to go down the board, not across it. Uh, for those of you who turned into the uh, live stream where I was teaching other people how to live stream, uh, we had a terrible time trying to program this board on Mac. Uh, I've actually never programmed one of these on a Mac, which I didn't realize until that live stream. I always program it in Windows. Um, so if anybody has programmed one of these in a Mac and has some tips, I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to include that on the website. So uh, do let us know. Uh, I'm just going to flip this around uh, here to make this join a little bit easier. It's also Monday where I live. Of course, yes, coming in from the Netherlands. Actually, most, uh, no, I'm going to say just about everybody in the, uh, everybody outside of North and South America will be on Monday. We, um, in many respects, are lagging behind here in uh, New York. But I am coming to you live from New York, New York. The city's so nice they named it twice. Uh, this is a great town to be a, a YouTuber in, of course. 
and a live streamer because the internet connection is just so blindingly fast. Uh, I've actually got a gigabit ethernet connect, a gigabit uh, service. So I, that's how I'm able to stream in full 4K to you guys. Uh, I hope some of you are taking advantage of it. I know the majority of people who um, stream at huge resolutions do it at 1440p, but just know that that, that 4K is available to you. Some people commented that they'd wished I would have gone to 1080p at 60 FPS instead of 4K, but I tell you, 4K is still where it's at, in my opinion. finger a little bit then. Uh, again, for those of you who just joined, uh, next week I hope next week uh, I will have started the um, the 30,000 subscriber giveaway. Uh, if I haven't started that by next week, I will do it shortly thereafter. Akiz is in the house. What's going on, Akiz? Welcome to the live stream. Uh, for those of you who are watching this on replay at some point in the future, uh, I do like to interact with my audience, say what's up. Um, that's why I do that. And also, if there are any super chats, I will read those out word for word. So if somebody wants to troll me, that's the best way to do it. Um, what time is it in New York? Let's find out. Alexa, volume seven. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 9.38 p.m. 9.38 p.m. JB1830 is in the house. What's going on, JB1830? Uh, just building, look at this. The, building the prototype, JB1830. What do you think? What do you think? Okay. Let's, oh, uh, you know what else I need to do? Did I turn that off? Can't recall. Yeah, I turned it off. I'm going to turn it back on because i got to do the reset switch. While it's heating up, I can peel. I can try to peel. I can make an effort to peel. Yeah, it does look good so far, right? Uh, I want to see how the fit is, though, before I uh, lay too much judgment here. Dude, there are many people designing things for the Sweet 16 at the moment. There's, uh, I'm told, there's, oh, bug on the desk. There's a... Um, I'm told that there's a base that's uh, being developed as well. Um, a milled aluminum base. Uh, so I will keep you posted on that. Uh, 
JB1830, while you're here, I heard good news about you this week. Uh, you don't have gout. That's what I hear. Um, that sounds like uh, that sounds like good news in my books. Um, hopefully in your books too. Uh, I know a couple people who do have gout, uh, and they complain about it uh, a lot. In case you're wondering. Not quite sure how this piece is meant to fit. Clearly it's meant to fit like that. But surely it's gotta be over the top here. It's gotta be the next piece down. But it doesn't seem to be. Maybe it's at the bottom. Uh, while I'm here, let's do this reset switch. Is this thing on? Pete, have you gotten in on any keycaps of late? Uh, yeah, I've just picked up, actually it's just only arrived uh, at my door a couple days ago, the um, Carbon, which I'll be honest, I'm pretty excited about. Pete did put a link on the product page. Well, I'm not sure for what. Um, oh, uh, Baxter Curry, are you the one who designed the 3D case? I don't think we've ever spoken. I was, I am super hot on that. Uh, are you the one who did the 3D printed case that I put on my on the web page? Because if you are, dude, that is so awesome. I can't believe you didn't reach out. I've been trying to find you, like hunt you down. Are you that guy? Please tell me you're the guy. Yes, yes, I did just burn my finger. For those of you following along at home, yep, that was my finger. What's that, Donna? Yes. Stephanie, hashtag wife of the year, has just offered to peel the other plates for me. I don't know why I included a hashtag on that. Um, just to prove that I'm with it. Uh, JB is in the house and he says he can kind of walk again. Yay. And he says, I'm building a board for HF Origin right now. Awesome. And where are you streaming? Yeah, where are you streaming at, man? Uh, why don't I, while I'm here, why don't I put the Pro Micro on? I mean, it's got to be on anyways. Why don't I just slot that puppy in? And 
just like that. See, I just wanted to do those two corners so that I know that the board is now stable. Uh, that's why I did that. We have a massive shipment of Pro Micros coming in. Um, massive shipment. I think we got, what, 250 more of these things coming in? Looking forward to that. Um, and of course, we're going to be at Philly Maker Fair, the Philly Mini Maker Fair. It might actually be called the Philadelphia Mini Maker Fair. We're going to be there in. Um, 24th of June. 24th of June. Can you guys see that bubbling? Uh, when solder bubbles like that, that tells you that the rosin is actually being activated. Um, you want to make sure you give it a chance to finish bubbling before you take the heat away. What's that? Yeah, always wear protective eyewear. I have been shouting that out a couple times today. So there's something here that's a little bit oxidized. Probably the Pro Micro. You just want to make sure that it bubbles that couple times. You don't want to leave the heat on too long so that you burn it, but at the same time, you definitely want the uh, rosin core to take effect. you can see that. I don't know if you can actually. If you're watching in full 4K, you probably can. If you're watching in full 4K and you got your nose up against the screen, you totally can see that popping right now. Oh, uh, Tasuba585 says he wants to get one of these kits, but the shipping to Canada is killing him. Um, I don't know that we're having a couple little issues with our shipping on the website. So if, it's, uh, if it seems outrageous, um, it possibly is outrageous. We should look into that. Can we look into that, Steph? It should be 10 bucks. Should be 10 bucks, Steph says. Okay. I think. If it's not 10 bucks, if it's outrageous, uh, do let us know and we'll uh, try to rectify that. Lots of bubbles happening here.
Green Tech is here. What's going on, Green Tech? Welcome to the stream. If you haven't already uh, pressed like or subscribe, uh, please do so now. The more likes the channel gets, this video gets, uh, the more people who are encouraged to join. So that's why I'm so hot on it. Love it when we get new people in the stream. Just got some oxidation on there. Again, if you're watching this in full 4K, you can probably see the bubbling that's going on here. Cool. Okay, well, that's my Pro Micro on. And I'm going to try before I... Um, oh, didn't want that to happen. That sucks. Ah! Damn it! It was still molten when I put my finger in it. Definitely didn't want that to happen either. Oh, well, I've ruined this. And my finger. I'm sorry, guys. i got to go run it under hot water, under cold water here. Dang! Dang it! Oh! Yeah, but I was holding this so that, um... Damn it, that hurts. Damn, 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 damn. Why, why do you have a piece that's not on here? What? I don't understand. Why is that, what's that one? Well, I just peeled, I just peeled that piece. This piece? Yeah. So is it the next one? No, I think these are the next ones. Damn, it hurts! I'm going back. I have an ice pack thing. I'm just... Okay, that appears to just sort of snap into place. Yeah, but... Uh, what? Is it flush? Yeah, that looks right. Yeah. Yeah, that looks right. Keep going. What are you doing? Okay. Ow. And then this. Yeah. Two of these. That's not right, is it? Yeah, it goes that way. So you can hit the reset switch. Yeah, but it's not flush, is it? Well, I, I would assume if we put the screws in and screw it, it will. No, look, it's mi it's missing a piece. So there's supposed to, there's supposed to be another one. Or are you supposed to have shorter legs? Do you want me to go get some eight mil legs? Yeah, could you? What? 
thickness of solder is at. Uh, the solder on top is uh, 0 0.031, and the solder on the bottom is 0 0.016. Get him some aloe. Yeah, I'm gonna get some aloe. Um, Stev, yeah? I don't know that we can take these legs off. Why? Do you need one screw? No, because the screw is trapped under the uh, top plate. Uh, and you can't just unscrew it. No. Like this? If you just if you take them off and just twist. I feel like we're just missing one. Are there supposed to be another one? No, I don't think so. Do the rest of them. So we'll have to send. Uh, no, I think I'm gonna get another another piece made. Well, that don't make it thick then. Does it matter if it's 1.5 millimeters thicker? I managed to, like a mug, uh, unscrew and remove one of the ones that was already that was already done. Where did that go? Yeah, the B-Suns do have hot swap sockets, which is actually why I did this. Um, so that I could remove it if it needed to be. But I think, I think that this is going to work. Wolves on Wall Street, with a $5 super chat, writes, Feel the burn. End game is only the beginning. There you go. I like this guy. Okay, I'm gonna throw this one on, and then these two. And I'm gonna hope. No, you're right, Steph. With the eight mil legs, it's exactly, it's exactly flat. But that. Is there gonna be room for the reset switch. What's that? Is there room for the reset switch? Yeah, but is there room for the? No, there isn't. For what? These all need to be cut now. <laughs> Ow! Uh, I can't do it because that's my. Use a different finger. I can, but how many fingers do you have? More than one. Ow! It hurts. Where did it go? No idea. In the board? Yeah, it did. Good call. Yeah, Endgame is only the beginning is a good quote. It is a good quote. Are you wearing glasses? Because I'm firing these things off at high... Your hands. <laughs> You're not firing them anywhere. They're just look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at that. I'm telling you to look at that. Look at it. <laughs> oh.
Oh, that! Look at that! Look at that! That is blood. Look at it. That's blood bubbling up on my hand. It is. Look at it. I have two spots of blood. You're just trying to hurt yourself. Guys, what do you want from me? What do you want from this show? When you come and subscribe and you press like, like, what do you want? This is what you want. You want blood and sweat. Oh, okay, get, yeah, oh I'm, starting to, I'm starting to feel a little. Get out of there. Let me do it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I don't feel good. <laughs> what do you like today? Glasses on. More blood. You put your glasses on? Today? I put my glasses on. Are these like, ow, really? <laughs> I don't even know where that went. Are these like really dull um, clippers? Yeah, here, you could use these if you wanted. Can you go downstairs? Hang on, no, gonna, no, I here, gotta go get gloves. Yeah, yeah, I'll here, right these, this one would be good. I'm bleeding all over the place. <laughs> Pete's hands are softer and mushier than Brown's. <laughs> oh, it really hurts. Oh man. Okay, we're definitely gonna. Yeah, that hurts. That hurts for sure. And I'm bleeding again. Damn, I'm backing off of this. Now, we're, what we'll do is we'll get another. <laughs> JV 1830 reported for the gore. Oh, so good. So good. Uh, reported for the gore, lol. That is, I promise always to read the uh, thing in its entirety. Um, I don't know what gloves are you looking for. It hurts so bad. <laughs> All right. Glove on. And which ones did you try any of the other ones? What's that? Did you try any of the other ones? No. There we go. No pain. I don't know where they're going, but no pain. Okay, there we go. Done. Easy. Glove, glasses, and we're good. <laughs> hey, look, I'm I'm like in the We have little flush cutters. They're just like not strong enough today. Where's your little uh, hex screwdriver, hun? Because these are little hex screws. Oh, it's in the drawer.
Okay, here's your board. What do you think? I need. I think it needs the other layer. It yep. needs one additional layer. What do you think? We just need to get some. It's a little gap there. Yeah, why does that a gap exist though? I don't know. Okay, this is your string. <laughs> Show it off. Show it off, she says. Okay, um, you know what I need, Steph, is four bump-ons. Yeah. It's pretty dope, though, let's be honest. The, um... sick actually. I really like it. Just looking at it more closely here. Yeah, I'm gonna get that extra that extra foot cut though. Oh, Pete, can you bring some extra bump-ons with you tomorrow? Asks JD1830. Steph? Yeah, Steph says yes. Um, it would definitely need to be a uh, custom cable. Do you have a custom micro hiding somewhere, Steph? What? I don't have any micros around. But that's what I'm saying, though. If we had a bigger hole, it would be easier to get in anyways. It would it would be at at the bottom, yeah. Yeah. Um. 
but actually, <laughs> uh, with this type of case, uh, building it with beets on browns is really bad because you can just peel the top layer off. Uh, so this will be the last one we ever build with beets on browns. Uh, it's good as a demo. It is good as a demo. Uh, but it's not good as not a demo. <laughs> Steph, do you have a, do you have a, what you call it somewhere? A custom micro? You do, you have that red one somewhere. What? No, not right now. Steph's got a custom micro. Oh, yeah, it totally fits, though. Okay. It totally, look at that, that totally fits. Cool. Well, thank you to everybody who tuned in today, guys. I uh, do appreciate you hanging out. Look at the mess and chaos that I've caused. Uh, let's just, just quickly, just quickly, let me show off some of the stuff that I have uh, coming up in the next couple of weeks, even though my finger is burning right now. And I really, really wish that this was over so that I could go um, deal with that. But let me just quickly uh, grab some of the other stuff. What's that? I completely destroyed this. Look at this. I completely destroyed this. That is destroyed for good. I need to buy another one of those. Damn. I like that one too. That was a really good one. Who cares though? You can only... Things are there to be destroyed. I just need that attitude. I don't know why it disappeared for a split second then, but who cares? It's destroyed. Buy another one. Everything will be fine. Uh, as our friend said earlier, the end game is only the beginning. Is this off? That is not off. It's off now. Oh, this is cool. I mean, it's cool. I didn't put keycaps on it, even though I have the keycaps for it right here. It's cool, though. Uh, I'm just going to get that extra piece added, uh, and then I will continue on. But I just want to show off some of the new stuff that we've got uh, in store uh, over the next couple of episodes. Let me show that off real quick here. Uh, first off, we have this. This is a uh, Mechanical Eagle Z88. Uh, this is the Super Scholar version. That'll be fun to review. Uh, I also got this uh, Wooting One. Look at this, it's still in its plastic. The Wooting One. These guys, uh, you know, since getting this, these guys have sent me a lot of emails about how to properly configure this. It uh, seems pretty cool. It seems like a pretty rich experience. Uh, I've also got this uh, coming up, which is the Archer um, AH45 headphones. Uh, that'll be fun. And I've got this as well, which, look at this, what is it? This is the Insignia Voice Activated Speaker. This is, um, turn this down a little bit. This is, this is pretty cool. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, it's built with Google Assistant. Uh, and I also got this with it, which is also the Archer BT007, uh, which is cool. Uh, 
Uh, what else have I got? Oh, uh... Just pulling this apart. Uh, what else have I got? Oh! Should we do this? Should we actually talk about this thing? Should we actually, actually talk about this thing? I'm gonna do it. I'm actually gonna do the review for it right now. Because this thing is driving me bananas. Do you guys want a review right now? Is that, would that be okay with you? Would that be cool? I'm gonna put this away. And I'm actually gonna do the review right now. Oh, that borked that. Um, don't forget to check back this week on one of keyboards. We've got the, uh, oh, I see how they're getting in. It has nothing to do with that. They're coming in the top. Any news on pandas? Uh, there is news on pandas. The news is that it's not going well. Uh, it looks like we're going to have to redesign. It's not looking good at all. I'm gonna do this like it's a proper review. You ready for this? You guys ready for this? Y'all ready for this? It's weird, I kinda have to be close, but I can't be that close because then my hat's in the... Hi guys. No, starting at this end. Hi guys. Hi, I'm Ski with P. Today I'm taking a look at the BenQ Screen Bar E-Reading Lamp. BenQ sent this to me. It's a $100 lamp for your monitor. Now, you'd think I'd stop right there. Sorry, little bug on the desk. You'd think I would stop right there. You'd think I would say for $100... But instead, but instead, I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask you stay with me for a second. Now, I recently saw a review for this on, uh, what's his name's channel? D DVZN Media. I just recently saw a review. DVZN Media got a hold of this thing, and he did a review, and it's a much more comprehensive re review than I could ever give. I mean, the guy actually reviewed this thing like it was an actual serious thing. So props to DVZN Media for taking this seriously. I mean... Great job. What can I say? You at home, I'm showing you a $100 LED lamp. Now, what DVZN Media did, which I thought was excellent, was he pulled out a little piece of paper and he pretended to write at his desk. And I would like to ask any of you who today are writing things at your desk. Why are you writing things? You have a keyboard right there. This is a keyboard channel. You have a keyboard right there. I know because this is designed to go on your monitor. Designed to go on your monitor. You have a keyboard. Now, let's pretend like me, you don't like, you don't like LED backlit keyboards. You think that they're tacky, you think that they're ugly, you don't like all the colors and whatnot. The reason that the F and J have those little scoops on them is so you don't need to see the... Ben Q sent me this.
They didn't just send it to me. They they send me emails like every day asking if I've reviewed this thing yet. Uh, by the way, uh, for those of you paying attention at home, uh, this won the Taiwan Excellence Gold Award in 2018. I uh, don't know what it says. Uh, this is the bar. Uh, it's <laughs> filled with LEDs. Uh, let me show you on action cam here. You can um, you can actually see all the LEDs. Look how tightly packed in there they are. Um, uh, it comes with this uh, weight uh, for putting it behind your uh, monitor uh, if you are crazy enough to spend $100 on this uh, that look at that it'll go like that and then this thing I assume will hang can, can you see how this it's got a spring in there um, and then it's got a USB cable. Uh, oh, so that you can plug it into your computer, I assume, because it doesn't actually, it doesn't actually come with power. Lots of bugs on my desk right now. Uh, there, let's uh, snap this in. Give me just one second, I need to plug this in. Uh, I have a USB charger right here, so I'm just gonna uh, use that as my power supply. $100 doesn't come with a power supply, I love this thing. This light, uh, there we go, look at that. Um, I'll put this in here. There you go. It's a light. Uh, the on off switch uh, operates just like an on off switch for a light that you would sp spend far less on. Um, this button uh, right here beside it. Oh, this, oh, this button, this button has a square right beside it. Oh, it seems to be, I don't know what it's, I don't know what it's doing. If I took the time to read the instructions, I would probably know what this thing is doing. But if you press the square, then it, I don't know what it does. Uh, over here uh, on the other side, there are two other buttons. Uh, one says color temperature, and you can see it's changing color temperature there. Um, you see it goes uh, it's like an RGB LED uh, only it costs a uh, hundred dollars oh I might have accidentally turned it off with my wrist uh, or you can press the brightness button and the brightness button um, look at that it affects the brightness uh, let's uh, just because I have a monitor here, let's just uh, stick it on. No, can't stick it on that monitor. That's up against a wall. Um, maybe it could stick it on this monitor. I have a monitor over here. Um, boy, that's that's great. Boy, that's that's super good. Look at. I'm just gonna point this camera, my action cam, uh, over there. Oh, action cam. 
look look at that guys you can see um, as I as I move this back you can see and look I'll tip this up so you can see that there look at that on top of look at this look look right here look all the way across on top of this giant light source that I'm gonna refer to as a monitor uh, I now have another light source um, You, but you see what I'm saying, right? Because this this is a this is a light source, and this is another this is another light source. But actually, this monitor, this uh, HD, uh, full HD, twenty three point five inch monitor, actually costs less than this bar does. No, it does. I'm not. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. So if you really want to take your $100 monitor and add some glare uh, or uh, light your keyboard, uh, which of course I understand uh, because fuck it, why not light your keyboard? Thank you very much to everybody who tuned in. Do not, I'm not even including a link at the bottom of this. I'm not including a link. Ben Q, please, please, don't send me shit. You make a lot of cool stuff. You could just send me something cool. You could just send me something cool that I could look at and I could be enthusiastic about. Why would you send me this? For those of you just tuning in, my name is Ski with Pete. If you're watching me review the Ben Q waste of money, good night, good luck, peace. It's not a paid, they don't pay me to do these reviews. They just send me these things. And then they're like, review it. You know, and DVZN, the guy is a professional. You know what I mean? He's actually a professional. He did a great job reviewing this thing. It made no sense, but he did a great job reviewing it. And DVZN, if you're watching this, I want you to know that I respect you because you turned that, this thing, which has been sat on my shelf. Uh, look, I have a lot of great products over here that I want to review that I just don't have time for. And this one I've been afraid of because I don't know, I don't know how you review an LED light that costs $100 with a straight face. I don't know how you do that. That's all for me. I've been your host, Ski with Pete. If you have any questions or comments, you don't like this review, you do like this review, post it in the uh, comment section below. Z now, it's been awesome. Thanks, man. I had a great time. Hope you guys had a great time too. Uh, this case for the Sweet 16 looks like it's going to be pretty darn cool. Uh, Got to make some adjustments before I can get it on the website, but it will be coming soon. Thank you again to everybody who tuned in. Thank you to uh, Mr. Thank you to uh, uh, JB1830. There was another super chat in there too. Uh, thank you for that other super chat. Uh, hold on one second. Uh, where did that other super chat come from? It came from Wolves on Wall Street. Both you guys, thank you again for uh, checking out this channel and for supporting it. Um, if anybody would like to buy a light for $150, uh, message me after the stream and I will send it to you. Um, peace. Uh, don't forget, uh, of course, uh, as always, uh, even though the stream is over, the chat does continue both here and in just a few minutes. In just a few minutes, you can find it over uh, on the Discord channel. My God, this desk is covered in bugs now. There's bugs everywhere. Where are they coming in from? I blame you. I'm pointing at Steph. I don't blame you, my audience. You guys are awesome. It's uh, Anchorbait says, this thing is brushed aircraft grade aluminum. Uh, uh, Do not buy this. Okay, awesome. That's my advice. Love you guys. I will see you back again soon. I never said love you guys to these guys. That was weird. That was weird. I don't, re you know, I regret it a little bit. I feel nervous.
I'm not sure if I'm ready to commit to these guys at that level yet. But I did enjoy it. It was a fun time. Okay, I'm leaving now. I am pressing mute and I am gone. Bye.